And drinking milk, that's not good for an audio medium, which this is, even though it's on the video channel there. But it is just me talking with some whatever footage, I don't even know what it's going to be, up on the screen. But anyways, you're very welcome to the State of Sterling. It's just a little laid-back chat I like to do from time to time. It's story time with Uncle Jim Jim, where we just talk about the everything to do with what I'm up to and stuff that you can look forward to and whatever else is on my mind, you know? I bought a barcode battler for my birthday months ago. I haven't even put any batteries in it yet. I'm bringing that up for a reason, because even though I buy old toys just because I want to have them around, around the house a bit and because they interest me uh, and because it's nostalgic and I'm trying to chase a broken childhood. I try and find some sort of work application with almost anything I do, you know? So I don't know what I want to do with a barcode battler, whether I want to just present a gym impressions of it as if it's a game thing worth talking about these days. Or whatever, you know? I've got a Tamagotchi knocking about somewhere as well. They brought them back as an official thing, the actual physical little egg-shaped Tamagotchi on the keychain. And I was like, oh, I can use that in a video. And I bought it and I've had it around for like a year or more. But, you know, I could just do something with that. And I was eyeing that Key to the Kingdom board game that I had in the 90s as a kid. I was going to buy that again. They're like 200 bucks now. But I'm like, oh, I can do a video on... No, I... Who wants to watch a video of Key to the Fucking Kingdom? But my office is just full of crap that I've acquired for things that I wanted to do in a video. Or, like, I've got an idea for a little skitty thing here, but I need an excuse to do it. Like, I've got a silver hockey mask somewhere. Because I was going to do Lord Humongous. Now, I've had a about five opportunities to do the Lord Humongous bit and just have a, a shot of me dressed like him going, just walk away, you know? Like, but I've had the mask for so long that I forget I have it and I subsequently forget to do the entire Lord Humongous bit. So I've missed several opportunities. I've had several reasons to tell people to just walk away, you know? It's like for every idea that actually makes it onto the Jimquisition or in its own video, there's five props or costume pieces scattered around that go unused. I'll see a mask or a hat or a something and buy it and just in case because it's, it's better to have an officially licensed Halloween 3 pumpkin mask and not need it than need an officially licensed Halloween 3 pumpkin mask and need it right I mean not have it shit but speaking of one idea that did follow through and follow through and follow through and follow through. As I record this on Friday, tomorrow, April 7th, is uh, another Stirdust appearance. Last time Stirdust was out, he was at uh, Pilahatchee. Uh, Shaky McMullen said that Stirdust was going to be nowhere near the building, but Stirdust turned up. Cost him a match because Shaky mouthed off, and Shaky hadn't been seen since then. That was two Saturdays ago. They found his phone at the venue, but they ain't found Shaky. Now, now we here in Camp Sterling, we reckon that he's, he's been on a losing streak for like the whole year more or less. The guy's taking his ball and gone home, which is good for us because that means the Silver Rage can kick start unhindered. We don't have to deal with that loser hanging around. So the Stir Search, which was implemented at the beginning of this year, concludes Saturday night, April 7th at the Golden Path. That's the name of the event. It's at the Hideaway in Jackson. We're going back there. I think I've already said that. Stirdust will crown his champion, paint the Golden Path silver and ain't nothing no one can do about it ha 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 we ain't seen shaky we ain't seen shaky mcmullen at all i got nothing to do with it all right stardust has nothing to do with it none of us have anything to do with it whatever it is let me also reiterate because people keep missing it i keep getting tweets demanding news on the return where is he where is he we're gonna bother you until you say something about it and i'm like i've said stuff about it we said it on the last episode of commentocracy that commentocracy is coming back i've said it on the last video of this what we did there will be more duke amiel du hardcore i bought a new jacket for him it's flowery and got ruffly things on it it's brilliant had it commissioned from Die Another Day, who did the uh, the, the Jimquisition waistcoat that you see, and Stirdust's uh, bodysuit as well, so it's pretty fabulous. My video artiste, to Justin McDaniel, is still working, juggling several projects, uh, doing the lip-syncing currently on the Loose Boys, which is still in production.
version and he's very gung-ho about the Jim Sterling Jimquisition video game he's got a lot of ideas he's been pitching to me we've been working with that I still gonna take quite some time and I'm you know I'm downplaying it I'm not gonna be all hyping it up or anything but Justin certainly very excited about it. I mean I'm excited about it as well I can't wait to see it right now we're just trying to nail a good uh, aesthetic for it we got the gameplay pretty much figured now we're just trying to uh, give it the right feel the right theme I just don't want it to be cringy that's a problem with a lot of these games that spin off from like YouTube internet shows and content they just they make you cringe not always but a lot of them and I really wouldn't want us to be that so that's that not a huge amount of work news actually I'm just sort of uh, nose to the grindstone at the moment still on the search for unsung games that's basically just what I'm calling them those smaller independent games that just aren't getting seen on Steam we've been having some really bad tech technical issues last week and they're more or less sorted now but I'm still having one or two things one or two issues with uh, video capture at the moment so director video has been a bit of an issue impressions is fine because that's pre-recorded footage I'm talking over and the method for getting that is, is not an issue so I was at least able to get a video up for a minute this week that small indie puzzle action adventure game uh, if you've not seen the impressions for that go check it out it's really quite good I'm playing the final version of City of Brass as well I played that one it was an early access did a video of that one time and it's got some technical issues still but as a game it's very fun one of those very addictive just one more go type of experiences one of those permadeath games where you can't just have a run there's no such thing as having a run in city of brass you play it once you die you're gonna want to play it again we're looking to get a new 4k camera here soon it's about time the Jimquisition went 4k so you could see every inch of my fat disgusting face Shopping around for that right now might be a little while because it's tax season, which is, oh uh, god. Plus I needed a new computer first, that needed serious upgrades and stuff so that I could uh, still edit videos, which is pretty important for someone whose job is predominantly video editing. I'm sure there was something else I wanted to talk about on this, but I've forgotten about it. I'll remember it next time. I'll end on a bit of news, a bit of Jimquisition media news is the, and I've, I've mentioned it in passing on the podcast, but I've made enough progress on it now to where I'm pretty confident in talking a little bit more about it, but I am writing and have been writing a Jimquisition book. Some Jimquisition for you to read, isn't it? That'd be nice. It's going to be part fictional autobiography written in the style of the Jimquisition persona, you know, the intro, outro, self-aggrandizing sort of thing, which will go through my career. There are chapters like that. There'll be original essays in there. I'm partway through writing one now about music, a video game music. I've never done a video on that, never really had the opportunity, but it was good to, to write a little chapter on that. And some of the best Jimquisitions, or at least some of the ones that lend themselves well to script form, there will be published uh, script of those. Uh, basically just text versions of some of the best Jim Qs. And probably whatever takes my fancy other stuff in there, you know, it doesn't matter really. It's uh, been pretty free form, just been writing stuff as I get ideas, and I'll pay an editor to make it coherent. Especially the chapters I wrote while I was fucked up, which I think is how most writers professionally do it, so I'm on the right track. Track. All right, that's your lot. I'm going to go finish off my milk now. See you later. Bye.